Let's look at how to process command line arguments in Python. So first of all, I need to have a script. So I'll go ahead and create a script. And I'll call this args.py. Change that. And then I go ahead and I open with Notepad++. And at this point, I can import the libraries that are required. So sys is required for this. So I'll import sys. And it's stored in a list called argv, sys.argv. And so let's just look at what each of the pieces are, first of all. If I want to know the name of the program that's being run, so I can do my program prog equals sys.argv or arg v0. Now, I should be able to run this and this should show up just fine. Um, if you start going beyond this, you might have to worry about other problems where you know, your arguments are not showing up properly because you don't have them and you're going out of bounds. But we'll just go ahead and start this way. And we'll print this out. Print prog. So this should tell me what my program is. So I'll save this. And I will jump down to the command line and I will go to that directory. And in my directory, I can run args. And it says, this is the name of my program. So that's kind of long, but maybe we wanted to look a little bit easier to see what's actually happening. So I'll go back into my program. And instead of printing out just this zero, let's do an int or a, a loop. So for i in range length, for a length of my sys.argv, so this will re go through the entire list of well, so there's a the length, whatever this is, and I'll go through the entire list of all of these indexes. And I'm going to print sys.argv, and then I want to have my i equals, and then I'll put in quotes right here, single quotes, percent %s, and then I will close this. And I'm going to pass it my i and my sys argv i. So what this will do is it will print out the word sys.argv. It will have the index number and then equals. And then inside of these single quotes, it'll have the string for what is actually stored in that array location. So then I'll go ahead and print that out. I can take this prog out and save this and then jump over here and run it and run args. And it says sys.argv0 equals this. And now I can type in other things. So I can do A, B, C, D and I can say, okay, well now zero is still the program. Then A, B, C, and D are in indexes one, two, three, and four. And you can use this information in order to do things like open files or handle different um, flags if you want to. And so this can be very useful when you are writing programs.